Today we're going to demonstrate our technique for an arthroscopic reverse haggle um, with a posterior labral repair. This patient had continued instability, identified to have a haggle on MRI, was found to have a complete uh, reverse haggle or posterior avulsion of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And see here we've made a low posterior inferior portal. We're dilating and placing a Gemini cannula. Again, this portal is usually two to three centimeters inferior on the glenoid to your regular posterior portal. We're viewing from a posterior portal with a standard 30 degree scope. The key, this is a chronic haggle as it's over three months old. We use a switching stick to elevate the capsule from the inferior soft tissues as the axillary nerve sits inferiorly. Following this, we move our scope down and identify the inferior margin of the cartilage and then we take a grasper to reapproximate where we're going to reattach the inferior glenohumeral ligament attachment. You can see we're in lateral position here. Sometimes a 70 scope is needed. In this situation, it was not. We've done a microfracture hole inferiorly to this to increase the potential healing capacity. Following this, we use a punch and a tap. Again, this angle is quite difficult and a more rigid anchor and tap is needed because of the potential to skive off of the humeral shaft. Following this, we place a 3-9 corkscrew knotless anchor into the shaft. You can see we've decorticated to increase the potential healing potential. Following this through the posterior inferior portal, we use a curved passer. Again, key is to say just deep enough to grasp enough capsule, but to avoid any damage to the axillary nerve, which is inferior to this. Again, that release we performed previously was quite helpful. We then pass a PDS suture. The key here is to take the engagement stitch and use a knot pusher to take it out of the anterior portal as you are not able to get a grasper down at this angle. Following this, we pass this suture and then again, similar to my other videos on the knotless anchors, you want to detangle it by taking the loop suture and the blue suture together. And then we engage the knotless function. This is very low profile. You can see here that once we fully engage it, the reverse haggle is completely eliminated and we restore good tension to the inferior glenohumeral ligament on the posterior aspect. Again, we do a similar technique when it's a anterior haggle, and in some cases, it's difficult to identify whether it's a posterior or anterior haggle based off MRI alone, and so you need to be prepared to fix both going in. If you do an anterior haggle, you'd like to make a low subscapularis portal. In this situation, it was a reverse haggle. There was also some posterior labral cracking as she had posterior instability on exam. So we elevated the posterior labrum and performed a knotless, low-profile posterior labral repair. Again, you want to be careful not to over-tension the capsules. You've already tensioned it quite well with the reverse haggle repair. There was no further instability on examination, and the anterior labrum was untouched. Thank you.